Hey, this is Paul from Guitar World, and what I have over here is the Orange Thunderverb 50 head. Now, Orange has an incredible, successful line of many different amplifiers. You really can't go wrong from their Tiny Terror to their Rocker Verb series of amps. They're all great sounding amps. And continuing with the success of their Thunderverb series, what I have over here is the Thunderverb 50, which is a big difference from the one we reviewed not too long ago, which was the Thunderverb 200. And as you can guess, it's the amount of output power. So this is the 50 watt job, whereas the other one was a 200 watt job. A lot of watts, especially if you're not playing arenas. So this one's a bit more manageable, and it's essentially the same as the Thunderverb 200, but it has a more British flavor, and it's really cool. So let's take a closer look at the Thunderverb 50. The Orange Thunderverb 50 has two EL34 tubes which contribute to its classic rock sound, but no doubt you can get some metal flavors out of this amp. It is essentially a two-channel amp separated by channel A and channel B. Now channel B has the more uh, gainier voice to the two channels, but you can also alter it to get more of a strong mid-range and a great solo tone out of this channel. Let's take a look at all the knobs from left to right. Over here you have your standby switch, and over here you have the channel selector switch. Right now I have it on A. The key to the Thunderverb series is the attenuator knob, which allows you to really soak the power tubes, but keep it at manageable levels. So if you don't want to use the attenuator, you can just turn it off and really crank the amp and go for it. But the attenuator kind of curbs that without losing any of the tonality of the amp. It also has a master reverb control, but with this type of reverb, it starts to become a little unmanageable once you get past 9 o'clock on this amp. But if you keep it just below 9, it sounds really nice. We have your volume control for this channel, your three EQs, the treble middle bass, the gain, so you can basically dial in a nice rhythm guitar sound, a very crunchy rhythm guitar sound, or even clean sounds. Once you get past that channel, you're on to channel B, which basically has three knobs. And you have your volume control, a gain control, and a shape control. I'll show you the, how the shape control works. It's basically an EQ control, so you can get a really dimed out metal sound, or you can get a really authoritative mid-range sound on this amp. It's pretty simple. On the back panel, of course, you have uh, three foot switch outputs, which allows you to control the attenuator, the reverb, and the channel select. There's also a great tube-driven send, uh, send and effects output jacks. And also, you'll find the power switch is on the back of this amp. Let's begin with channel A on the Thunderverb 50. Now, I'm basically going to be using the attenuator control to get the most out of this amp because this amp is really loud, even at 50 watts. So, you can see over here, I basically dimed out the volume control on this channel. So, if I wasn't using it, this amp would be blowing your head off. I've uh, cut the gain to about 10 or 11 o'clock over here. And right now, I have a really cool, crunchy, British-flavored uh, sound. So let's hear what that sounds like. So that was a great medium gain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up the gain on this channel so you can really hear how much gain is on tap on channel A. Sticking on channel A, now I've dialed the gain back and I've pumped up the attenuator a bit and uh, what I have now is a pretty cool clean sound out of this amp. So let's hear what that sounds like.
Sticking with the same sound, what I did is I split the coil, so now I have a single coil sound, and the one thing that's great about the Thunderbird 50 is that it really sounds great with a single coil guitar, and you'll hear that. Here we go. So that was channel A, now let's move over to channel B, and that is as simple as hitting the channel select switch over here. And of course, like I said before, if you had the foot switches, you can just whack into those foot switches and instantaneous foot switching. So over here, channel B has only three controls, the gain, volume, and shape. And of course, what's great between the two channels, you can set separate volumes. But let's hear how the shape control works on this channel. And uh, right now, same thing as I have an attenuator on this channel because this amp is crushingly loud. So let's hear what this channel B sounds like uh, on its own. Sticking with that same sound, as I said before, this amp sounds really great with single coils. So I'm going to flip the switch here on my PRS mirror, and you'll get to hear how great that same sound and how clear and articulate it is with single coils. Here we go. <laughs> Now, sticking on the same channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving the shape control so you get to really hear how the tone really shifts as I move it. So let's start with the same sound, back to humbuckers. Two final things I want to show you really quick is I move back to channel A, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the EQ controls right about 12 o'clock so you can really hear how great uh, this amp sounds and how responsive it is. So let's hear. This is everything at 12. So it sounds really good, and now just by moving the treble uh, back a bit, middle up, and cranking the bass, it changes significantly. Let's hear what that sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
And now the last thing, of course, is the reverb control. As I said before, once you get past 9 o'clock, it becomes a little unusable, but it's still a very deep sounding reverb. So right now I have it at 9. Take a listen. It has a nice uh, spring reverb to it. Now watch as I move it up. Orange's Thunderbird 50 is a well-built and well-conceived British amplifier. Rated at 50 watts, it's extremely manageable for all types of gigs. If you're looking for some hard rock and tones, this amplifier serves them up beautifully. Definitely check it out.